All right. Then we're going to play some more Death Shadow. We're going to try. This is a. I did Ben Jones' list that he did really well in a PTQ with. And I just cut a Kologon's Command and a Liliana Lasso just for two Liliana Veils. We're going to give that a whirl tonight. Just see how that is. This card used to be the Absolute Stones in Modern, probably about a year ago. But then when the Ether Vial decks came to prominence, it, it really dropped off. It was just pretty poor. But there's like the Ether Vial deck, so I want to give it a try now. So let's jump into it. Competitive Modern, Modernino, Join League. Yeah, Liliana used to just be the absolute stones. And now, especially that there's more shadow mirrors, especially on Moto and like it's Leyline the Void Centric, Liliana is just another card that can help get around the Leyline issue. Like, you can ditch your Gurmag Anglers to trade a resource with them, and it's just a card that doesn't use the graveyard and can dominate a game. So, just gonna give it another try. It has not been good recently, but all right. This hand is pretty good. It's got a little bit of everything, but we don't have besides a threat. But we we've got like two good cards against combo decks, creature decks, and then a way to dig. So copper line gorge. So playing against dredge. This hand is not very good against dredge. They mulligan and put a card on the bottom. I either need the Thoughtseize or Serum Visions, I think. I don't think I can hold up Stubborn Denial because the odds that they have, like, two lands Cathartic Reunion is pretty low, and I've got to find a Shadow pretty quickly. So we get punished if they hit a Cathartic Reunion, but, like, such is life. we got to find the Homeboy here. All right. That's a little – it's a very little fish, but we're in the market for anything that can attack. They did not activate the Shriekhorn. Oh, they didn't know their top card? Okay, so Fetch Shock 6, Thought Seize. I guess I can just go Thought Seize off of this. This is a little dangerous, but i got to start filling my graveyard and I can hit a Reunion. Okay. And we're going to bolt them. Maybe someone for me next time. Okay, there's. Uh, um, I didn't do that today. I actually haven't done my put my deck list on the stream decker. So hang on, leave me one second. I forgot to do this. So let me just do that. Go back to my game. Um, extensions, yeah. Okay, they hit another Narc Amoeba. So at least we have to bolt a Narc Amoeba. Uh, my extensions. Cardboard Live. Um, Streaming Magic Online. Upload. Should have the deck set up now. Okay. Alright, um, I'm just going to bolt this Narc Amoeba here. Because if we had a Shadow, then like, I have to bolt this thing anyways. I might as well save some damage. But if I had a Death Shadow, we'd pump the brakes, but we don't. And, and i got to make sure I can delve. And now I can delve and have Stubborn Denial. Oh, they hit the forest. But they did not loan, which is odd, but whatever. So there's no sense in inquisitioning them because I don't really want to put that thing in the graveyard. So we're just going to go like this. Actually, hang on. Let's not tap like a, like a Dodink. And we'll pass.
I literally just came back to my chat, so I think I'm probably going to miss if anybody said anything. Just thanks for sideboarding, guy, Ben. That. Yeah, I missed, I missed whatever went through Twitch chat right there. I was fixing there. But. How you doing tonight, Mr. Jones? Okay, so they dredged Imp. Milled themselves. So we know their hand. I'm tempted to stub this because it makes them miss a land drop so they can't play the Stinkweed Imp. Which I'm kind of down for. And I can like... Yeah, let's hit this. So my, I know their hand. I know the three cards. The other cards are stinky Imp. Okay, that's pretty good as well. So I'm just going to attack and then go like Snap Stub on a Life from the Low again. And then I should be able to get like a tempo game going on here. They didn't hit anything. They dredge loam. Snap stub puts them, attack to seven, bolt them, battle rage, and we got them. Just kind of harass them for a little bit. Does dredge usually not play a basic Ben? I am not super up on the dredge. Um, on the dredge lifestyle. I should have done myself here. So they're going to hit a reunion. So we know they're not going to hit a land at least. So they have to go dredge low. We bolt them. Then we're good. Ben Jones a gold pro? What an absolute beast. I did not know that. They play Mountain. Okay, that makes sense. I, I really didn't pay attention enough to. Yeah, you got it. Get your lands back. All right. We do have to bolt them. Put them at 10. Um... Oh, nice. I don't think that matter. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what's in their hand, but just in case. A gold rake on Rita is up today, though. <laughs> okay, so let's get these ley lines. Um, cards that aren't great. I don't really like Fatal Push. I actually really don't like Snapcaster Mage in this matchup. If I have Leyline of the Voids. I like Snapcaster Mage a lot. Um, if I get Surgical, but if I don't have if I have Leyline, I'm not a big fan. Snapcaster was good there though. I want this as well. So I just cut five cards. I likely don't need to cut all these. These Fatal Pushes can go though. <clears throat> uh, we can keep the looting because you know we're like we have Leylines in our deck. <clears throat> I want to keep in like enough removal to be able to clear the way for the block for um, to clear the way in case we need to. Like we don't want to try to have like a whatever uh, a stinkweed imp army hold off our shadows. Yeah, I think this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're giving the ley lines a try there tonight. Um, I think I'm gonna mulligan this hand. It's not like there's not a threat in it. We don't have the ley line. It's a solid hand, but if we were on the play, it'd be much better because we could hit like a faithless looting or a shriek horn. Uh, this hand is not good either. Uh, 
We're going to find out. I think I'm going to ship this one too. Because like we can't get a shadow into play until at least turn three. Depending on what we scry here. And like this is already kind of a mulligan with how our hand is. So there's a land on top, then we have a chance here. I'm like tempted to keep this. I get two looks at a land. I'll be able to delve quickly here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna keep. All right, go team. <clears throat> All right, so they have an imp. Question is, do I thought seize them or do I get the cantrip? I probably don't thought seize them. I need this Gurmag. I probably need this Gurmag Angler in play next turn to have a chance to win, I think. Like in a perfect world, I think I would thought seize them here. Like if I had a second land, I would thought seize them. Yeah, I thought this I thought this hand like had the chance to win. Yeah, I don't know. I thought this hand had a chance to win. Um, they have claim. They brought in claim. I uh, yield until next time step. It's like I needed a land, but like I've got some disruption. I had a Gurmag Angler, you know. Oh yeah, I'm probably like I'm probably still gonna get beat up, but like we're we're not in a good spot. But I don't know. So now I might as well thought season play the angler. Probably can Inquisition though. It's five. All right. Well, I guess we'll take this. Narcomiba. I could just, yeah, I'm going to take this Narcomiba. Leave him with a nature's claim. I don't think they can cast this, but it doesn't really matter. I was worried about, like, an Assassin's Trophy, but I guess it's a little um, a little over the top of them to have Assassin's Trophy and Nature's Claim. All right, well. Watch this card, VO4. Yeah, they did board and claim. Wow, they're just doing nothing. Round time. I really don't want to show them this. They take a natural draw. What do they do here? They discard Narcomiba returns. No, they dredged Thug. All right, let's attack. So I know their hand. Their hand is this plus another Thug. So I am going to looting, but I guess they're already like... Maybe they won't. They'll take them out if they don't see them. How's it going, Archmage? They would have to have like a gemstone mine or something like that. I'm going to like not show them this ley line if I can get away with it. And I can. Now I have to discard. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to make a bad play, Brandon, but like. If I can get away with it, I was going to try to get away with it. And I think I can by just going, uh, ditching both of these. I'm going to Thought Scour on my turn, and then I might hit another threat. What can they hit? They could hit a trophy. I guess it's just worth it to hold this. Like, we're far enough ahead where, especially if they're taking draw steps. I guess they can start playing thugs now, which is still not great. <coughs> they're just not casting. Oh, this means they must have hit. They must have hit a trophy or something like that. Yeah, they're going to upkeep this. Our lightning act, sure. 
Stub this. Swing in. And probably go get... We don't have anger in our deck, so I can just go get another uh, watery grave. Let's find a shadow. Neither of those are a shadow. I don't think there's any reason, like, I guess we can hit a removal spell, so we'll do this now. It's not like they're going to draw a thought seize and thought seize us. Okay, so they're drawing a they're drawing a chill if they don't dredge. They didn't dredge last time. Oh, they just took a natural draw. Nice. Alright, I just scoop it up. Milk Dad, I appreciate the sub. That's what I thought too, Ben, but like I didn't want to make a bad play to do it. Like if I could get away. Yeah. Thank you for the 250. I appreciate it. Yeah, if I could have gotten away with it, because, like, I think at the time that I cast Faithless Looting, I needed help. Like, I didn't have the, I was ahead, but it, the game certainly could have exploded out of control. And I think it was just wrong of me to keep the ley line there. If I could have gotten away, if I thought I could have gotten away with it, I for sure would have kept it. Yes, I appreciate the 250. I really play Dredge almost exclusively, so I've been like a hundred times in the last month. I think it's like, I think the Shadow decks can beat Dredge if they decide to. Like, these Ley Lines are really good. I've played Surgical plus Anger, and I think that really helps a lot. I haven't seen Bales at least. I just tossed them in there tonight. I just wanted to play it. But obviously, I'm going to drop my websiteers quite a bit in game two if it sets me up to steal for game three. Okay. Then maybe I should have thought about it more. I guess it all depends about because what does Thought Scour do for me? Thought Scour gives me a random draw that helps set up another delve card. But you have to decide to beat it. Like, sometimes it's right to play this. Like, it hasn't been recently, but there's been times where Death Shadow, it's been right to just play no graveyard hate, and then you can't win. There's no Godless Shrine. Not here. Um, what's in the five-color shadow deck? I think the five-color shadow deck is, like... Like, I, I, I'm a big fan of the four-color shadow deck with the blue, but... I would not play five color shadow because then you're just playing lingering souls to help grind. And it's like, if you want to just grind, play snapcaster mage, which is better. Like if you're playing four color, there, there's going to be a reason. Yes. That's what we've got here, Ben. We've got this. And then we got these two. I, I've, I want like, I keep wanting, I, part of it's because I've played the four color shadow deck recently a lot. And I, I have liked the veil so much in that deck so that maybe I'm, Misevaluating. Um, I'm going to keep this hand because, like, we've got a Serum Visions and a Faithless Looting if we need to. Like, we can just can trip on this turn. It's not great, but I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to mulligan. But we could be a little slow. I think I'm going to lead on Thought Scour. I never try this in Force Scarlet, even when I play one looting. Yield through this turn. <clears throat> yes, I agree with your with your idea there. Forest, basic forest, birds of paradise. Okay. So we need ourselves a black land soon. Alright, I'm gonna fire these off before I looting. Because I wanna know what they are. Alright, there's half the puzzle. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go serum visions and bolt or and push this thing. Get one more way to get the shadow a little bigger. 
these are not like really that good. I do need another land. But I could just loot away next turn to set me up. Because this shock land really doesn't do anything for me, right? It puts make my shadow, doesn't even turn the stub on. So like I'm I'm hesitant to run the shadow out if I don't have stub because I get a path to exile. Kind of just want to ditch this. Because we're gonna have time. Because like that doesn't that's just not a great draw. Because I can easily get rid of this battle rage. And if I would have kept that land land there, then it's just to kind of like get rid of, I think. So I don't I just don't think it's that great. Had it been a fetch land, I probably would have kept it because it done more damage, but it might it might have been still loose to do that. Alright, so we hit a worse land. So let's start here. Okay, get rid of this. And probably get rid of this Inquisition of Kozilek. Fetch Shock puts us to nine and stubs on. And then we have Battle Rage Dismember, we get all the goods. Hopefully we don't get a Repticade. I feel favored against Tron if I'm on the play, if I win the die roll. If I don't win the die roll, I don't feel favored. To play Kitchen Fangs here, it's going to be kind of annoying. So I think like a Knight of the Reliquary would be nice. They play another reliquary. We have we have outs where we just kill. We have draws where we just kill the next turn. Okay, just eternal witness. Nice. All right. Well, you're gonna, what are you gonna do? You're gonna get back a fetch land. Or you're gonna get back a bird. Okay. Yield until next land step. Way to deal damage. Tilt. So I can put them to one, but that seems kind of loose. And I don't think I'm going to do anything. I'm not going to flash my looting back because I want to ditch this land. I don't want to play it. Like this card and like one other card are cards I definitely want to get rid of. Yeah, I don't really think the five color deck is, is worth it at the moment either. Because like I can understand if you want to play four color, I can understand it. But I actually, it's even harder to understand now that this deck is picked up. Because like... You know, Tarmogoyf's great and all, but Snapcaster slaps Tarmogoyf around. All right. Like, you never want to bring a Tarmogoyf to a Snapcaster fight. <clears throat> okay. So now we bring in everything that kills everything. Um, I'm going to keep my street rates, cut one of these. Yeah, the four color, in order for the five, in order for a Tarmogoyf Death Shadow deck to be able to handle a Grixis deck, you need to play like, you have to build it to beat it. And if you have the point, if you build it to beat it, I think you lose too much across the rest of the format. We don't want this. Like you can beat it with like, Liliana of the Veil and Lingering Souls, but I think that's it. Really, and you need a lot of them. Um, let's cut two Inquisitions. And now we will submit. I played Esper Shadow just, just for like, just for, I think I played like two leagues of it on stream, and it wasn't that bad. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. There was a time for about two weeks where I thought the four color deck was really good. And it was like, I thought my list was bad. Like I needed to work on it and I was still just running people over. But then like Grixis won a, Grixis won a Mox or won a GP. And it's like, okay, that's, this is just over. All right, we're going to throw this back. 
Yeah, this guy's pretty good. Uh, we don't want. Uh, let's kind of fuel Lava Mancer. What are we gonna do with our mana? Removal spell, removal this. Yeah, I guess we can put this on top because it's just like another redraw that's gonna fuel us more here. I, I love. I really like the mana base in the four color decks. If you just choose not to care, like you, like you, I think you have to play it. Twelve black, twelve black fetch lands. And um, we're just gonna bolt this thing, and I'm probably gonna get a steam vents. Actually, I don't even have to bolt it. I could just dismember it because I don't want to really. I, I want this to be like. I really don't want to fetch black red off of this. But then I want to be able to dismember something bigger. I can just go get a blue red, and this can be better here. Brandon, you're so smart. Bolt the bird. Let me go cards in the best way possible. The guy just plays and we got our cards. I'm just playing the game. Yeah. Okay, let's. You can see our visions now inform what we want to do here. All right, well, we know what we want to do. Shock, dismember. I still might not play Death Shadow next turn, but we could just hide the shadow. Or we could Thought Scour our opponent, have some, like, we can go Fetch Shock, dismember. Thought Scour them to drop both of these, because this is six damage. Yeah, we're going to go like this. And we also can just wait if we want to. Like, we don't have to. Because I don't want to play a shadow out when I have a stub and I can protect it. Um, especially after sideboard when they might have more removal. They, they, they're like the full, they're not just like a, they're the full like Abzan version of it. Scoos. In 2019. So now we're not going to play our shadow. Because we can't protect it. We'll just wait for... We, we probably will Thought Scour them. Or we can just wait and not do anything. Oh, shoot. I thought they were going to go for it. I should have an arrow keep then. I thought they were going to do something there. I didn't have an upkeep stop. It would have been better to do that in their upkeep. Um, I think I'm going to take this. There's actually no reason for me to take that, I think. Like, it wasn't awful, but it was not super great. <sighs> because I want to be able to, I can't draw the shadow, play stub, and be able to protect it from a trophy or a path. So that's why I didn't do it there. Because then I have to kill something? Oh, no, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Nope. I'm, I'm stupid. You're right, Brandon. I just, like, had this fetch land on my mind. I kind of want to do this again. No, you're, no, I, you, you're right. No, you know, Brandon's Brandon's right. I would have I had a thought scour them. Yeah. No, I made a mistake. Yeah, I zoned out. Two mediocre hits off our thought scour could leave us in a little bit of trouble. Didn't matter. They had the they had the the non counterable clause going on. It could have gotten a blue land before we did everything this turn. Like, we, we drew this, this turn. Meyer can't get a blue land now. Shit. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm playing all over the place. I'm engaging, trying to, trying to play. 
Very macabre. All right, you got it, dude. Probably have to snap push this. Though I could snap Serum Visions. Nah, I probably have to snap push this. As sucky as that sounds. But at least we're on the battlefield. I could get a tap land. But I'm going to feel really stupid if I get a tap land and they go like company. Because they obviously don't have it now. They probably are loaded up on spells. I would like to. I would have liked to be able to snap serum there, but you just snap visions. There's the argument that like we're not doing, we're not getting anywhere, you know, because like, all right, that was a nice draw. Now I want to kill this thing though. Now we have two snapcasters. We're kind of doing it. I'm gonna attack first. See if my opponent. Uh, See if my opponent does anything. <laughs> reading reading is hard. I think I'm just going to dismember this. I could look for a Serum Visions, but... But what are they going to do with this? If I go snap Serum Visions... Because what are they going to do? They're just going to flip this and they only have three cards in their hand? Or you just kill this, have four power on the battlefield, then I'm at four? Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to kill this thing. I think we're, we're going to do the little... the little two ones that could. They probably have, like, white spells in their hand. And I don't really want to go to two, so we're going to feel stupid if they hit a company. Oh, no. I'll play this because we can hit a basic island. I'm going to draw a second left hand hand. It served them right. All right. We're on the old snap beatdown. God, we have a battle rage. Opponent's super dead. Plus, uh, an under like a real like low key thing to do in this deck that's just great is to kill people with two ones. What are you doing? You got it. Do I have another red source? Okay, yeah, there's their white source there. Um, Tell, Telper, thank you very much. Sin Collector. Tilt. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, they're going to take my... Ooh, they took my... Hmm. All right, I'm going to go just fetch a Blood Crypt tapped. Because I don't want to take... If I draw a rip like a Lava Man or a Bolt, I don't want to take a bunch of damage. But dude, that bad boy is getting getting cast. That's totally... This Street Race is going to kill my opponent. This is another just like... this is. I just love doing this to people. Just killing them with the Street Race. True name nemesis, baby. Thanks, Rob. You're so supportive. So you taught me a lot. Yeah, man. Any, I appreciate it. I appreciate you uh, with your the support, and you know, if you have questions, just ask. God, they got a trophy, my street wraith. Yes. No. 
All right, what do you got? You have now they have to block. Oh, they just kill me. What a tilt. No. No. They went trophy into. Man, I was so excited. I'm going to hit the old submit button. I wonder if I want one less of these in like a Kologon's command or something like that or an Inquisition because they have abrupt decay. We didn't see trophy. <sighs> Refer to my first. I'm just here for the dog. Well, he's right here if you all want to see Philly Boy. Hey, Phil. Philly Boy. Philly Boy, you want to say hi to Twitch chat? Whoa, there's Twitch chat. Fitty boy. He's just like, man, is Rob Meadows in the chat? That guy's such a tool. You know what, Rob? You want a piece of me, Rob? You want a piece of me? Keep my nose. Keep my nose, bud. All right. Maybe attacking the Snapcast was too aggressive, but playing around trophy there. Well, they needed trophy in the land, right? Right, like that. That's how we lose there. I'm going to keep this in because if we get a Gurmag Angler down or something like that, it's just so. Well, I guess what am I doing? I'm inquisitioning. Like the only difference between the only difference between this and this is this hits Eternal Witness. That's a collecting company. All right, I'm actually kind of in for this. Now that we saw like a bunch of K. If I find a land, this hand's not bad. It's pretty slow, but we have like the big trump here at the end. I kind of want to keep this hand. Because, like, if the game goes long, my opponent's going to attack me, and then we can kill them. If I find another land, I bolt, snap, bolt in my hand. I'm going to keep this. I can't, I'm, I'm ready to get berated over this one. My basics are whatever card hoarder gives me. I love you, not your basics. At first you say I'm medium, and then you say you love me, Rob. Like, I don't like this mixed signals you're sending me. I wish you were just up front with me. They get full value. Yield until next time step. Hashtag not my basics. All right. All right. Let's get this. All right, we don't want this. We do want this. Let's get ourselves a little cycle action. Check out what's going on here. That's bad. So I get two draws to look. Okay, like take Eternal Witness and then Snap Thoughts. He's not collecting company. And kind of be in it. The problem is if I don't take this devoted druid and things just get really bad, we're gonna get real bad for me. But maybe I can get underneath all this crap. Or should I should have bobbled myself. I should have bobbled myself before I did this. this is stupid. Because my top card is like a red source and it's like real good. I feel like I need a land to win anyways. Like I'm gonna have to like Snapcaster Mage has to trade with one of these companies, I think. So I'm gonna take an eternal witness. I'm going to assume that there's a land on top of my deck, on top of the two cards. And then if there's not, then that's life. But I don't think, I don't think I'm going to win the game if I take this Devoted Druid and I miss on lands again. <clears throat> Should have main phased the Scour. All right, red land. All right, gas. Okay, and we can go snap thoughtsies and play death shadow next turn, so we're in pretty 
we're in pretty good shape here. So we knew they drew this. So their hand is that. So next time we go snap thought sees play a five five. Or I could just go snap bolt this to make it so they need to have two parts of the combo in play. Snap bolt. Because then if we go snap bolt, play a shadow. There's no way they can combo me off. They're going to have to invest a lot of mana into it, and that gives us one more draw step to figure it out. Like, is two companies needing three combo pieces better than one company needing two combo pieces? And they have to sink four more mana into it, and we could hit something next turn. I think the problem with bolting the Dust Watch Recruiter is that my shadow isn't quite as big. But I think that's gonna be mute moot. I think it's I think this is I like doing this. I think this is just what we gotta do here. And for all we know, our opponent doesn't have, have the land. Didn't have the land. Okay, so they're gonna be able to do it next turn. Hold on to your seat. We're just sending in with both here, cause my opponent's not dead, but they can't crack a fetch land if we battle rage. Cause this is eight. Well, eight, sixteen. So we can put them to one, which means they can't have black. They're not gonna have black mana for the rest of the game. I still think that's kind of loose to do. Do I want to fetch five with the Gurmag Angler? I think I do. Yeah, because I want to make it so the Angler in Battle Rage is gonna do it next turn. Or it's, it's still not quite doing it. They're going to have to make some pretty significant blocks. I'm delving just a weird amount on purpose. <clears throat> so there's no way that our, my opponent kills me here. Because... No matter what, the Devoted Druid is going to be summoning sick. And it flips. Ooh. That's pretty nice. I probably shouldn't have attacked my Snapcaster Mage. I liked putting in the one so they can't fetch. Is that... Is that purpose to tilt me? I don't know what you're saying, Ben. <clears throat> All right. So now I might have to do some like big brain thinking here. Because now they're going to go up. OK. If I go bolt myself, yeah, I still think my opponent's just like so dead it's not even funny. Because I'm going to bolt myself. This becomes 22 points. There's just no way. They can put 22 points of power. They're going to gain four life. But this is going to die. No, the persistence is going to come back. So they have to block everything. Yeah, I'm not even really going to do this math here, but I don't think it really matters. Hmm. I guess I get this. 
Like you're not beating battle. I guess they're just not beating battle rage anyways. This isn't even that bad of a block. How many points is this? This is 15. Damage is done before the persist trigger happens, so it's still good. They take two, this cancels out. Yeah, sure. Again, we didn't 100% do this math super great here, but, you know, I'm just assuming this works out. Because, like, it usually does. When I when I get to, like, think, is my opponent dead with respect to a battle rage, most of the time it's they're dead. All right, I'm going to go grab some water. I'll be right back. Yeah. That would be demoralizing. <sighs> does it come back before we... Yes, it does. Yep. They'll get two persist triggers. Which I would have had to think about more. You know what I don't like about Twitch is that Twitch, like, so you get paid from Twitch every time you get a balance of $100. I wish that there was a way that I could find out on here where it shows you, like, how much, how close you're getting paid in, you know? Like, where, how, how long are you going to hit until you hit that threshold? Just wish I knew that. I got bullied away from it. That's where it went. Man, if I get to point this dismember at something, this hands the stones. So I'm going to keep it. The Twitter villain said they'd kill me and my family if I played a... Uh, if I uh, played a Jace, I can't. Oh, we're playing them, them empty boys? God, give me something to dismember, please. This could be, a mono, this could be the Mono Red Phoenix deck also. I'm going to stub a like a looting effect here. They can go third Street Wraith. Into Hollow One, they go double street. If they go double street wraith, or they just play the Hollow One here, that's pretty nice. Dees. Magic Fest or SCG. I'm going to put a Jace in my board. Sounds good. Get out of here. I wonder if I'm even supposed to play this Death Shadow while I can get bolted. Like that does kind of sound like a way to lose the game. I think I would rather just go like this. Okay. I think I'm just going to dismember this thing too. Yield until the next end step. Now I can fetch a tap land here. But I don't really want to do that. I, kind of, I think I kind of have to play this slow. Unless I find a like a battle rage.
Because I can just, this is the kind of hand where I can just lose to Flame Wake Beats. But I probably can raise that. So let's play this untapped. <clears throat> it is kind of nice that we get Leyline of the Voids in this matchup. Big find of Leyline against Leyline Void against the Hollow Boys. I'm going to stub this. I'm going to fetch an island here. Go push. Okay. Yield through this turn. So, I really don't want to lose to two bolts here because my option is that I can I kind of just wanted to hold it just be a little conservative like if I go fetch shock here to four then I'm dead to two lightning bolts but both my shadows are lethal I think I'm just okay with doing this like, just making it so they have to block at least one shadow next turn. I just don't want to get, like, cheesed out of this game. I feel like I'm far enough ahead. I should have kept my bobble in looting. Like, that would have been a good play to do. Now it's like I got to kind of keep this land because I don't want to fetch and go to six. I didn't play that turn as crisply as, crisply as I could have. Oh man, I could have got a stub. I could I could have played that whole turn sequence a little better, I think. I still can make both shadows lethal here. Make them present two walkers in my next turn. Or we just got them. We discard Flame Lake Phoenixes. Wow. What's your last card? I don't think they, they don't have an out for this, right? Because even if they present a blocker, as long as we have a land, a shock land to fetch, which it looks like we do. We haven't milled over a shock land yet. Oh. They were back now. to restart the stream there but I like bringing these in I like cutting snapcaster mages and on the draw I like cutting inquisitions and I'll probably cut two of these I like all the counter spells because they just hit like enablers like we can get turn one a lot easier but I like having more removal on the draw to deal with like flame wake phoenix 
on the play, I might like cut some more of my removal and bring in some more discard spells. But I, I like having all four cards, especially because the Hollow Wind deck plays Liliana the Veil now. So I think we're back. I think we're back here and good. After a quick restart. All right, we got the old, we got this here. All right. So don't bust it hollow on me. If we don't get any nut hollow and draws, we should be okay. I won game one, yes. This is game two. We have a ley line in the play to start, which is nice. Oh, nothing. That's nice. <clears throat> I'm going to Seer Visions because I'm specifically looking for a Thought Caesar Street Wraith, I think. As I would like to be able to play this Shadow next turn, which isn't going to happen. But I do think I want this battle rage. Are we gonna go are we going are we looking to go full linear here? The problem is if they kept seven and they didn't keep if my opponent kept seven cards and they couldn't get a hollow one in play on turn one after like committing a decent amount to it, like you know, they they went they could have if they had it. I think they have like fatal pushes. So I think I'm going to put this on the bottom. I, just, I don't think that the battle rage is going to. I don't think this shadow is going to live unless I find a stubborn denial quickly. That's another reason why I like four stubs against this deck because they, they, they move up to four pushes after sideboard. is in the tank. <clears throat> All right. Opponents thinking. Taking their sweet time and thinking. Goblin lore. Okay, so they ditched the push. There's one. There's two. Jeez. All right. So we're going to take eight, which puts us to nine. So I can fetch a basic and still be able to eat one of these. Alternatively, the problem is if I don't, I gotta fetch anyways, which leaves me dead um, to another attack to the Hollow Ones. But like, I'm gonna die anyways. So I'm gonna fetch a basic island because this can give me a basic swamp if I need it to. I like to keep Fatal Push on in the deck on the draw, Brandon. Because I like having more issues to, more outs to um, some of their creatures. On the play, I like to take it out because I like more discard. I hate the art on Hollow One. It's kind of cool. <coughs> Okay. So we're in it. The question is I probably just play Shadow, play Bloodstained Mire, pass. Because I want to be able to fetch a red source 
Though I only have one Battle Rage in the night deck, and that's really the only big... Uh, that's really the only card that I want to hit. Only red card I really want is Battle Rage or Kolagon's Command, I guess. Or Braid. Yeah, so we're just going to play the Shadow. Because I'm, I'm likely going to want... I think I want to fetch this tapped. Because I think this is going to be like a tapped Blood Crypt or something like that. Terminate. Okay. Now we're in trouble. So maybe I should have been more aggressive, like digging. So now I got to fetch a basic, take two damage, hit this hollow one, and then I get to go at least like thoughts, like serum visions into thought scour to draw my top card if my top card's good. It does kind of suck to, because it looks like we're going to lose this game. It does suck to lose a game against Hollow One when you drop a ley line in play. But. Yeah. Because if we, if we do that, then we're just dead on the board, right? Because we can dismember one Hollow One, like. Then we go to one. I mean, like, even if we hit, we go to one. I and mean, then Battle Rage is lethal. It's so weird to think that maybe you don't even want Battle Rage after sideboard against this deck because they board up to probably four of these and they've got this in their deck too. Which just makes me think that maybe they're ready to play a longer game. Like, it's just, it's just interesting to think about. Like, Battle Rage is likely, you know, like it's obviously going to win when it connects, but... I definitely don't think it's like, I don't know. It's worth thinking about. Because if they're packing, like, I doubt they play the first Terminate before the fourth Fatal Push. And I know it's pretty common for this deck to have Liliana the Veil. So if they have Liliana the Veil, terminate and fatal push then like maybe i don't even want maybe i want to cut battle rages and bring my snapcasters back in play a game like that <clears throat> can you give me priority back please so that i can lose next turn We didn't see them discard a ley line in their top 18 cards. So like the odds are if it was there, we would see it. So we go to, th go to one. We're dead to just a million things next turn. That is something we are not dead to. This is just lethal too. Jesus. Put on the bottom, put on top, I guess. I don't even know if it's correct to put that on the top or not, but... Yep, yeah, Dead to a Phoenix or Bolt. 
but like whatever you know the fact that we've got them got a chance like they i think they need to draw to kill me I'd like to tell you magic the gathering is a game of skill where you know the best player aka me always wins Is anybody psyched about the GP schedule? I'm kind of sad that my the GP in my hometown is not, it's just limited again, which kind of sucks. All right. So we got that. This is why we keep the fatal pushes in the deck, Brandon, obviously. Just results oriented, LOL. Yeah, it was a lot of limited. There we go. All right, 3 0. Good way to start the league. I'm going to say hi to my wife. Very bad. He's poking smart in there. The first match. I don't remember either. A bunch of my friends are going to that one. It was Dredge, yep. Yep. These matches have gone, they've been long. Even though we've only played seven games, they've been pretty long. <sighs> All right, here we go. We have yet to board in our Lilianas or play a matchup where the Liliana would be good, which is worth noting, as that is our experimental card for the evening. All right, I would like to play first playing it's Showtime. What a cool name. Isn't DNT good in Legacy? I have you're talking to the wrong guy. <sighs> this hand's awful. If I keep it, it's a hand that's gonna let me go full linear. I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna shock the steam vents and pass. Though this might be a mulligan. Let me take a picture of this. <coughs> If someone told me they were mulliganing and gave me a good reason, then I would keep it. <clears throat> I 
The problem is, is like we can't really do anything on turn one because I'm not looting in the dark. Like I think he was supposed to keep his hand, but we kind of piss away. Like hopefully I get something to stub or dismember or bolt, like because I'm not looting on one here. My opponent's thinking about what they're doing. They keep. So they're like an Eldrazi deck. Oh, they're like the Mono Red Prison deck. Okay, well then we're going to keep up. Dubbing a chalice. Bang. So these, this removal is not good. You have Simeon Spirit Guide, bud? Do ya? Do ya? They got it. What a savage. My stream been watching the YouTubes. Hey, that's awesome, man. I appreciate it. All right. What spell do I want to get countered? I will. Not run it out right now because we can, we can blast a Rabble Master like we're going to do right here. Dismember is not a one cast spell. So we're going to kind of hope that we hit a black land here um, just so that our opponents, because we can eventually get here, but if this is Legion War Blast, yep, I yield. I yield to that. <coughs> okay. A braid in, stub in. Um, I like the stable stroke against this deck, kind of. Colgon's command is in. Fatal pushes are out. I think that's probably it. I think I was lying about the strokes. I think that was fake news. Yeah, I think this is what we're gonna do. The problem is like stroke does does some things, but like it's not gonna do enough, I don't think. I don't know, at least five big mana dragons sometimes. Yeah, I don't know what else I want to take out, though. Like, I want lightning bolts and dismembers to be able to handle, like, this also kills Hazret. I think we want bolts. We just don't, don't want to get caught. Oh, God. And we're going to keep this hand. It's a lot of disruption, but we could go nowhere with it. Um, I want to be able to kill, like, Legion's War Boss and stuff. I think I'm supposed to keep this hand. Like, as long as we just don't get cheesed out, we're good. 
but I could also be convinced elsewise. Okay, take that. There's that. Put both those on top. Because it's the same thing as putting them on the bottom. So what'd you hit? A Rattle Master? Okay, so that means I can play a Shadow next turn. If I hit a Chandra, they're just going to murk me. Maybe we have to just fade a Chandra. Yeah, but like I have to hope they don't have it, I think. Yeah, I probably played this poorly. Yeah, they have, they have Chandra and Koth right here, but they don't have the mana to do it that we know of. We get to eat one of these goblins. Maybe I should have mulliganed my hand. I just feel like that hand is so good if we had a second land, but maybe it's too greedy. I should have mulliganed. I, fuck, I, I messed up. That was my fault. I should have just mulled. And we're dead. We're dead unless I draw like Yeah, we're just like super I should have mulliganed my first hand. That was a pun. That's my fault. I should have just mulliganed. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's my fault. I deserve to lose that one. <clears throat> like, that was my fault. I don't want to considering this later. I swear if I want to make my opponent sad. I just don't think these decks are very good. I think they're too high variance. Hang on one second. Oh, we'll get in here.
All right, we'll keep this hand. Could be a little trouble. Sorry about that. I just had something I had to handle there. We did. I, I kept a loose hand. Which was my fault. Um, Just pass here. We got a good old mirror going on here. Is that what's, going on? Is that what's happening? This feels like a, a mirror. I'm going to stub a Thought Scour. Oh, what is this? Is it an island? Hot. Okay, so we're playing in Storm. Oh, no, we're playing in Sour Clay Phoenix deck. They're, all right. Wow, they have a rough draw. There's nothing that I would want to cast that I would hit besides a cantrip. So I'm just going to wait a turn. Modern Red's unbeatable. I don't know what you'd expect. Okay, so I played Steam Vents. Um, I'm sort of like uns unsure of my plays here because my opponent's not doing anything. But then again, like I'm not doing anything. What could they have hit that was any good? They would have cast anything that was any good, I think. I don't want to put an Arclight Phoenix in the graveyard. I don't think it's... I mean, it's just another threat that doesn't use his graveyard. So they drew that. Okay, so I can snap Inquisition, which is kind of loose. Because we know that f at least four of the six cards are lands. This is an odd game. What do I would do for a Serum Visions? Probably just going to push this. And then I'll like Inquisition probably just to get something out. This makes my Shadow a little worse. But we'll be all right. My opponent's not doing anything. Let's start here. See the other two cards are duds. All right. Let's take this lightning axe. It's a discard spell and can kill Gurmag Angler. I could just like thoughts. Oh, I guess it's not gonna, never going to kill Gurmag Angler because of stubborn denial. Stupid. I really don't want to like do anything with my Snapcaster Mage here. Like I just kind of want to. I want to save this Snapcaster Mage for. Something that could matter. It's like the best hit for him. Did you break? They, they probably didn't break. Like, the, their deck is... Wow. What an odd game. As soon as we find a threat, my opponent's dead as a fucking doorknob, but. Yep, you got it. We're just in a holding pattern. Arclight Phoenix. So they played Mountain. I'm just going to take care of this. At least we get something on the board here. This is not ideal. I would love to see a Gurmag Angler as my draw step. If we could just get a Gurmag Angler, I'd be happy. We're due. 
we're due for a shadow, and we're due or a Gurmag anywhere. That's pretty good. I could have cracked this, but I, I didn't think I was going to use that much mana. Jeez. We milled over a shadow. I could Thoughtseize and Stub and leave them with nothing. And have my Thoughtseize trade for, hopefully there's another card in their hand, but I don't know what it would be where it would make sense. And then I can snap caster. At least I can know that the close the coast is gonna be clear after this turn. Alright, we get the old F6 from our opponent. And then we'll EOT will fetch. And then we'll snap Serum Visions. Yield until next end step. All right, plans change. Just do top and mill them so you don't have bad top decks. In those spots, are you supposed to top and mill them so you don't have bad top decks? I'm confused what you mean. They're freed. This is gone. I don't think I'm going to win this race. I might turn it up. So what do we got here? Three, six. They played that. This is just 14. It's two turn clock. We're winning here. I just have to like counter anything so that they can't bring those Phoenix backs. Get rid of that. Now, if, they're la if they have a spell, if their last card's a spell, then I'm dead. Looks like it is. Yeah. And, like, they were due. Maybe I should have thought seized. Probably should have thought seized. Yeah, I definitely should have thought seized. Just leave them with the least amount of resources possible. So I don't like Snapcaster Mage in this matchup. Though I might bring it in because um, you bought a Bobble and Wraith, which we never want to draw, for a blind mill and a blind draw off Thought Scour. Oh, you're just talking about get them out of our deck because we never want them? Oh, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I think there's definitely an argument for that. Now that I know what's going on. Want this. We'll take two Snapcaster Mages. The Ley Lines aren't good because they play Crackling Drake. I'm actually going to ditch this Faithless Looting. This matchup gets harder without Surgical. No, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to keep. We're not going to discard spell them on turn one. We're going to cantrip. Because I think a common play pattern about this deck is they gear up to get ready. And I can have the option to stub something or... Yeah, I, I tend to cut Snapcaster Mage a bit. I think I think that's I'm just more aggressive with it. I 
yield until next end step. We're going to thought scour. All right, start here. Jesus. I guess I just take dispel. Because they're all the same thing. I might get a little aggressive with the stubborn denial. Nah, it just gets like eaten by, eaten by everything. Yeah, we're gonna let this go. They put a card on bottom. Put a card on bottom. Yeah, their poker hand's pretty good. All right, they hit. This is going to get a little tricky. <clears throat> there might be a little less chit chat in this one. This is going to be tough. Okay, there we go. Not that one. So we're going to take this Manamorphose. Just kidding. We're going to take this Lightning Axe, as it's also a discard spell. I could run the Shadow out. That seems kind of loose. So we're just going to pass. I'm going to stub a Manamorphose here. Here's my line. I think there's definitely doesn't. I definitely don't play this matchup with it on available on my sideboard extremely often. I, I don't think you bring it in. You saw Ben? Okay. All right, so they, what do they do? They went with this. Pop thought scour, okay. They put a card on top. Then what do you cut? You must cut snapcasters, right? Or bolts? But I cut my bolts, didn't I? Yeah, I did cut my. I didn't. I cut. I didn't cut any bolts. So I can see the bolts. Yeah, Liliana the Veil doesn't doesn't answer. I mean, like it answers Drake if they don't have any other cards to sack. Yeah. Two cards on top. All right. I'm in trouble. I'm in less trouble now. Why don't you like snaps in this matchup? I don't think it's about like grinding them out because they have a better long game. I'd rather just bring in cards that end the game quickly. Okay, so they're all out of ops. They have a Metamorphose. Yeah, Lil Liliana is not good in this matchup. I don't know anybody that's adding that in there. They, they should not be. Just a good old Crackling Drake. 
So I'm going to... Four damage doesn't even make this a clock. Doesn't make this like a, a two-turn clock. I guess it... Yeah, we're going to go for it. We have Snap, Stub, Snap next turn. They don't have any Phoenixes in the graveyard. All right, we're going to hold that. Make them think they have another turn. They're not going to, like, force spike us. They're all out of hops. <clears throat> yeah, you can get that out of here. If we win this game, I'm going to be surprised. I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna like hit a faithless looting. Yeah, like that's gonna get countered. They can play another looting and probably kill me, but I think we gotta keep this in their hand because it only makes sense for them to have a bunch of drakes in their hand or a bunch of phoenixes because they're they're 37 cards through their deck. They've seen so many. But I guess they have another one. If they have another looting plus two drakes, like good on them. <clears throat> All right. All right. Okay, let's get these lightning bolts out of here. I was I was stupid with that. He brings in disdainful stroke. I'll try that. I could keep my lightning bolts in because it's reach and it kills um it kills Arclight Phoenix as well. I really dislike Snapcaster Mage in this matchup. I feel like you never have the mana. You get so much mana. But Lightning Bolt's not that great either. I like Snapcaster Mage when you have Surgical. It's a little better. What what all to... Because the Ley Line doesn't matter against the Crackling Drake, right? All right, this hand is a little sketchy, but we're going to keep it. Tilt. I'm going to stub a Manamorphose. I will cycle EOT only if they play a whatever it is. Um, if they play that other duder, the thing in the ice. Oh, turn off auto yields. Damn it. Yeah, like I just super, I just like accidentally F6 through this. I'm just going to stub this. They go down a card, I go down a card, whatever. I just don't want to get double phoenixed. This is where like I made a mistake and I'm going to just try to fix my mistake here. They just let it go. Wow, they let it get countered. Okay. I think the ley lines are okay. I just played them because it's what Ben played. I wanted to try it. The ley line is good against like critical mass graveyard decks, but there's not a lot of those. Put on the bottom. I think we're going to want this dismember. But our draw has not lined up very well here. It was nice that we get to... We get to whack that faithless thing, though. I wonder why they didn't pay. They must have just made a mistake. But it's not really necessarily a free win. Okay.
Yeah, Village A Phoenix. I don't think it does enough. I think it's too cute. All right, no. Don't get me with a lightning axe. We've had a pretty poor draw here. The home team is struggling. There's another Phoenix. Got shot me. Okay. All right. Shock. What is shocking for? We have a bedlam reveler. And what they get? Okay. We're in trouble now. I basically have to hit Battle Rage now. Maybe they'll play around it. We boarded out of Lightning Bolts, didn't we? Hmm. So we can keep playing magic. Now we can't play magic because I just played the wrong land. Ugh. I just clicked on the wrong land. I'm about to play this land. We go push, crack, block. Hope we hit. But I just completely tossed it, which is like, ugh. Oh, that's frustrating. Yep, damn it. God damn it. Let's see if we'd have gotten, like, we're dead. We're dead as a doorknob. Let's see if we'd have gotten it. Oh, that's frustrating. No, I couldn't, I couldn't give, yes, it does, but I couldn't go push and dismember because I played the wrong land. I just zoned out.